Hello, Carol Herb here. I help Christian women heal from broken trust in marriage, fulfilling their desire to be valued, secure, and fully loved. I am so happy you're joining me today because I want to talk about how discovering that your husband has been unfaithful can leave a devastating effect on your self-worth. Your self-esteem can take a drastic hit that can cause you to start having difficulty thinking clearly, and as a result, so many women tend to blame themselves for their marriages falling apart. Perhaps this is how you've been feeling lately, and even though others have told you it's not your fault, you can't help but think that it is. You may catch yourself from time to time, again playing what I call the if-only game. It kind of goes like this. If only I had paid him more compliments. If only I hadn't been so unreasonable. If only I was prettier. If only I was thinner. If only... I was funnier. If only I was just a delight to be around. In essence, you are beginning to think that you're not good enough for your husband and certainly not for your standards of yourself. I want to talk to you about the truth about what God says about who you are. As Christian women, we do ourselves a disservice when we forget about what the Word of God says about who we are in Christ. God's Word is powerful and true, and upon studying it, we learn that. So I want to share a few scriptures with you. Colossians 2.10 says you are complete in Him. Ephesians 2.5 says that you are alive with Christ. 1 John 5.18 says you're born of God and the evil one cannot touch you. Ephesians 1.4 says you are holy and without blame before him in his love. 1 Corinthians 2.16 says you have the mind of Christ. And lastly, uh, 1 John 4.7 says greater is he that's in you than he who's in the world. Remember, you are God's workmanship, and you are created in Christ Jesus to do good works. That's from Ephesians 2.10. There is no denying who God says you are, and anyone who whispers in your ear and tells you you're anything less than his best comes directly from your enemy, Satan. Now let's talk about some practical ways to improve your self-worth. It's not enough to just read through the Bible and see the truth about who you are in one time. There is something you need to get down in your spirit and it can help you to know some practical ways to improve your self-worth. Finding out that your husband has been having an affair is an incredible blow to your self-esteem and self-worth. One of the reasons this occurs is because you feel like you've lost control. The time to start rebuilding your self-worth is now, and there are some things that you can do. First of all, stop blaming yourself for what happened. Every time you start to play, place blame on yourself, take notice and correct yourself. Next, don't compare yourself with the other woman. This will only lead to more negative thoughts about your self-worth. Then, prayerfully consider what you want your future to look like, what your goals are for your marriage, and keep those first and foremost in front of you. Take time for yourself to properly care for yourself and your own needs. Then, get help. Consider looking into a Christian marriage coach or counselor who will lead you according to God's Word and help you understand all the steps you need to take. The road you're on is a difficult one to navigate all on your own, and I would like to help you. If you would like to reach out to me, you can do so by emailing me at hello at drcarolherb.com or if you would like to speak with me directly, 
go to my website, drcarolherb.com, and schedule a time for us to talk. I would love nothing more than being able to support you. Hang a fountain in there, and I am sending you God's grace.